how to start your life in Malta. The very first thing that you need to do is to arrive in Malta. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Guys, it's Alex here. I'm changing a little bit the dynamic of the videos. Why? Because I would like to take you all around the island, but at the same time, I would like to let you know the basic things. How to start your life in Malta. Follow me. And I totally forgot to tell you that this is going to be part one, which is starting your life over here in Malta on a budget. So budget friendly, we are waiting for a bus. One euro 50 cents if you are arriving over the winter and the autumn time over here. Or two euros for a ticket available for two hours if you are arriving over here in the summertime. Aside of having a free Wi-Fi inside the airport, we found that there is a free Wi-Fi over here at the bus stop as well. I'm gonna show you which are the buses that you can find over here and where they can take you. Yoo okay, so X2 is here. Let's go. Destination St. Julian's. All right, so we arrived over here in St. Julian's. Now I'm gonna get you in Pacheville and inside St. Julian's so that you guys can find some interesting, let's say, cheap, affordable, hostels and hotels. Let's run before they run me over. Sorry, thanks. Okay, just in case you're wondering why I'm dressed up like this, guys, I just want to do be, let's say, comfortable doing this video. And here we are in the center, in the heart of Pacheville, the place where over the weekends there is fights, broken glasses, broken bottles and strip bars. Let's go and just check around where we can find some cheap hostels. <laughs> When I arrived in Malta back in 2015, I stayed over here in a hotel. And I really want to see whether this hotel still exists because back in the days, <laughs> that was a show over there. Oh my God, I used to have lunch in this restaurant. <gasps> wow, memories. Oh, <laughs> there is the hotel. <laughs> Let's see. I'm pretty excited to see and just to check how much does it cost if we can stay here for a night. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Sorry to interrupt you. Can I just quickly ask you, how much does it cost to stay over here for a night? For one night, uh, it's 20 euros. 20 euros? Yes. Okay. Is breakfast included? Uh, with breakfast, it's 22. 22 with breakfast. This is for one person or for two? For one person. For one person. Okay, cool. Thanks a lot. Oh my god, this brought so many memories. Jesus, I was staying in one of their apartments up on this side over here and that was horrible experience. But then I complained and they put me down. I think it was either down the road on this side in that building or it was maybe somewhere on this side or that building in the center. I have no idea. So many memories. Oh my god. I was staying here and now it's 20 euros per night or 22 with breakfast for people to stay here. I don't think that we're gonna find anything cheaper than that. Nope, we found even cheaper accommodation. Hostels around St. Julian's and Sliem area for even up to 10 euros per night. Guys, I recommend Pachville as a starting point for anyone who quickly want to find a job in Malta. And meanwhile, on a walking distance, I suggest the following areas to find a sharing apartment. Starting off Pembroke. This is a great area as you literally need 15 minutes walk to get to Pacheville and you are very close to the sea, but very expensive. San Juan. Perfect area to find a room for roughly, let's say, 300 euros a month. Close to Lidl for affordable grocery shopping and good bus connections. And then, lastly, if you want to splurge a little bit more money, you have Swiggy. Quite developed area, but it's rather expensive. Anyway, let's just go around Pacheville because the reason why we are over here is if you guys are coming, let's say, on a budget and you want to start your life over here in Malta, I'm pretty sure that you're going to be looking for something to work in like more central area. More central than Pacheville and St. Julian's, there isn't. Let's continue. So, the reason why I told you that for sure you're coming in this area is because if you're looking for a job, look at that. Stuff wanted. Apply with it in. Apply with it in. Apply within. <laughs> hey, I found here something. Welcome to seven apartments, short and long lets, and there is a number as well. Maybe we can record this so whoever is planning to come to Malta or it's on their last point before they arrive, 
boom, you have this over here. Excellent. Let's continue. Let's see. Oh, wow. So this is Patreville. This street over here, guys, whenever you Google Patreville Malta, you will see this street full with people during the night, during the day, empty. I mean, how many people we are? Six. <laughs> Okay, excellent. So, so far, what did we find on a budget? We found on a budget a hotel. I showed you that area over there where people are renting on short lets and long lets as well. Now, I'm entering inside Bay Street Complex, which is a shopping mall over here. And whoever is coming in Malta and it's trying to find a job opportunity, if you are already on the island, I would kindly suggest you to start going all around the shops over here if you are into the sales departments and just retails to be more precise and just start applying for uh, interviews, applying for job opportunities directly on spot, which is basically handing over the CVs inside to the retail shops. <laughs> Okay, my budget friendly people, let's continue. So, let's conclude. We arrived at the airport, we took a bus for 1 euro 50 cents, we arrived in St. Julian's, we found ourselves a cheap accommodation, or let's say it's affordable, I don't like the word cheap. Then we went and we looked for job opportunities around the area. As you see it yourself, there were restaurants that they had that board of saying stuff wanted. Moving, oh, missing. Help us find our beloved pet Na name, Klaus. Oh my God, can we record this? Maybe with this video we can help out someone. Oh, okay. Yohasra. So, moving on. Once we have all of that settled down, this is something that you guys don't need any money for. Taram, the public beach over here in St. Julian's, St. George Bay. is this okay so there is a reason why this beach is so for free because I honestly don't understand what kind of sand or whatever this is anyway in one of my videos previously when I was showing Malta there was someone who was asking me is the water cold or warm or can we swim I just want to test it out let's see Ooh. Girl. It's actually pretty warm. And there is jellyfish. There is a lot of jellyfish. Can you try to record them? There they are. Excellent spot over here with this beautiful background behind me, even including that big building that is under construction, but we are not going to go into that. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and I hope that many of you who are planning to come over here in Malta, you got kind of an idea of what you can do and potentially how you can start your life over here on a budget. For those of you that you always enjoy my videos when I'm touring around Malta, I hope you enjoyed in this episode, Pacheville. Pacheville is a great city. I know it's been completely different back in the days and this is how it looks like now, but still, it's part of our beautiful island, Malta. Until I see you in my next one, bye.